So in this video, I'm going to talk about organizing data in tabular form and presenting in a bar graph. So let's say we have this data. So it's a set of colors, red, blue, or green. And then we're going to plot it in a table where the first column is the name of the color. So it's red, blue, or green. And then the next column will be frequency. So we're going to count how many red, blue, or green. So for the red, we have one, two. So there are two. For the blue, one, two, three. So there are three. For the green, we have one, two, three, four, and five. So there are five. So we're going to get the total. So two plus three plus five is ten. Then the percentage. So how to get the percentage? So we're going to get the frequency, which is 2, divided by the total, which is 10, times 100. So we're going to get 100. It's always times 100 to make it in percent. So the answer for that is 20. So 20%. So that means red is 20% of the total. Next, for blue, we have 3 divided by 10 times 100 is 30. Green is 5 divided by 10 times 100 is 50. Of course, the total for the percent must be 100% in all. Now, if it's decimal, then you just round off to two decimal places. Next is we're going to plot it in a bar graph. So first is we're going to plot the axis, the vertical and horizontal axis. So the vertical axis will be for the frequency so we're going to put the highest frequency based on our data it's green is the highest which is five so we're going to put the uh, numbers one to five and then make sure that it's evenly spaced then we're going to plot now the graph for red so it's two so we're going to put a bar that is up to number two then for blue, we're going to put a bar that is up to number 3 because it's 3 in the frequency. And for green, we're going to plot it up to 5. So through this, it's easier for us to compare the frequency of these three colors. Now what I have shown you is the vertical bar graph. But you can actually interchange the frequency and the name of the colors. So it would look like this. So now it is what you call a horizontal bar graph. Now in case the data has um, variants of red, variants of blue and green. So it, let's say it has light and dark color. So there's a light red, dark red, light blue, dark blue, light green, dark green and so on. Although in our data it's not present but just in case if there is something like that so it can be categorized as red blue or green so you can make it like this so this is what you call a double bar graph so it both bars are in red because both are red although it's light red and dark red so through that it's easier for you to compare per category so your category is the red blue or green so that means there are more dark red than light red. So also for blue, so in this case, there are more uh, light blue than dark blue. So you might wonder where can you see that? It is not now anymore referring to the given because it's not giving a light color or dark colors. So just this is just for example. And for green, so just for example the dark green is more uh, having more frequency than the light green so I'm just showing you an example of a double bar graph thanks for watching and I hope you have learned from this video please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section